Last game of the uh, of the long talks here. Uh, New Orleans, uh, the New Orleans Saints versus the Las Vegas Raiders. Bavada has that line at New Orleans minus six. Um, you know, I don't need to talk a long time about this. Vegas showed me about what I thought Vegas would show me, which I like them. Um, people are down on them. I'm, I'm a Vegas. I like Vegas because they play consistent football. They stick to the run. They're going to be patient. Josh Jacobs is awesome. He's the perfect Gruden running back. Um, I like that. Ruggs flashed. I like what he showed. Um, I think he's going to really burst out this year statistically. Um, so I like that. Carr was fine. Um, Darren Waller gets a lot of targets, doesn't get a lot of red zone chances and opportunities. Although for the for the Raiders to be in the game this week, they're going to have to be very creative in third down and goal line situations because they need that goal line. Uh, they need to they need to score every time they get inside the twenty period to, for yeah, this to right. be a game. Um, Raiders. I think the defense has improved. I'm not surprised that Carolina put up points just based on the offense there. But if Carolina puts up 30, you know, you're talking about efficient offenses, ball control offenses, quarterbacks that can throw with precision. What are we going to get with New Orleans, man? I mean, tough matchup for the for the Vegas Raiders. This very, week. very tough matchup. Unfortunate week two matchup for them. I, I think New, New Orleans is a powerhouse, man. Yeah. I think they take it. I really do. Yeah, I mean – Breeze, I, I I actually thought Breeze looked rusty to start like the first two quarters of the game, and and Brady really kind of gave. We talked about this already. Brady gave and New Orleans credit New Orleans defense, man. They can always stop the run. People forget that New Orleans, it, they're like almost impossible to run against. They're really good, and then the defensive backs, they're a little streaky, but they showed up against Tampa Bay. Um, are they going to show up against Vegas? I could see this being like kind of a mental breakdown for New Orleans, in terms of you know could be. You know, like the, 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 those defensive backs show up when they're playing top quality receivers, and they shut those top quality receivers down. But you know, when they're when they don't show up, you know, when they feel like they're they're better, I feel like sometimes they don't show up. So I could see like Vegas having a couple downfield opportunities, a couple broken coverages. I think the game will be a little bit closer than people think. But here's how I see it: Vegas. What does Vegas want to do, man? They want to run. Um. What does New Orleans do defensively better than almost every <laughs> right, team in the league? Right, right. They stop the run. Stop so, the run. So for me, it's the unstoppable force, the immovable object. I think those two things cancel each other out. So then can Derek Carr beat some people downfield enough to, to keep this game close? I, I think that the, the Raiders will score more than people think they will. I think it'll be a closer game. But New Orleans, look, the Raiders' defense is improving, but this is New Orleans, man. They're sure. I would say Seattle looked like the best team in the conference to me last week. Um, but New Orleans opened up the season as my NFC favorites. And I would say that them and the Seahawks are co-favorites. And then, uh, But I'm not going to say New Orleans isn't any worse or is any sure. worse than, um, than Seattle. I just don't see this game being within a touchdown. I think yes, this is probably a 10-point game. Um and when this game gets out, of, like when New Orleans gets up 10 points and the Raiders can't run the ball with Jacobs anymore because at the end of the game they have to pass, I think New Orleans will step up. So I think it's, I think it's a 10-point game. I think it's closer than people think. Probably people are thinking like slam dunk blowout. I don't see it that way. But New Orleans, man, their offense is too good and their defense matches up really well with what the Raiders want to do, which right. is run the ball. So I'll, I'll say New Orleans by 10. I'll take New Orleans to cover the spread. You run New Orleans too, right? Yep, you got it.